your journey as an artist, different things have been coming in and out of your life in terms of musical influences that have yeah. affected. How is that, like, you know, my mother was a big Talking Heads fan. I grew uh, up in the Talking Heads. <laughs> yeah. And, and for, I think for her 60th birthday, we saw David Byrne in Atlantic City. That was like her dream. That's um, awesome. So, like, I know Talking Heads came in and Bob Dylan came in. Like, yeah. How, how did... How did it affect your work? How did you come to new music? Well, I mean, I think like every every artist um, that I've ever come in contact with that resonates with me just opens up new doors within myself and within the world to explore. You know, it's just new territories, and um, so like. Um, you know, friends will introduce me to something or I'll hear something on the radio or I'll just hear a name randomly somewhere and then that'll, I'll just go, oh, I've heard that name a bunch of times and I want to know, you know, it, it, um, it comes in, in in many different ways, but, you know, um, when I, when I really discovered Bob Dylan, it completely changed my life. It was just like the way that he wrote his language, his, the casual, manner which he threw out incredibly profound um, ideas it, it just blew my mind. Frank Ocean just came out, um, which was a big moment for hip hop. What are your thoughts on sort of an artist coming out as being gay? Um, there's, a, there's a, a great debate happening with the ramifications for his career and how mm, it affected mm -hmm, his career. Mm -hmm. His album came out yesterday. There's just a, enormous praise for his album. Incredible. Um, but what are your thoughts in terms of, as an artist, um, coming out as being gay and those, you know, how that could affect your career? Well, you know, I mean, um, I think it's incredibly brave. I think it's, I mean, especially in hip-hop, you know. But I think just in... Um, across the boards, you know, I think, um, I think that to, to be able to step out and really be yourself, whatever that is, whoever you love, you know, um, I can't imagine, I can't imagine what it would be like to have to hide something so important about my identity, you know, um, I, th I, I think it's, it's wonderful when people can be who they are, what, whatever you are. If you like, if you're a girl and you like girls. If you're a boy and you like boys. If you're a girl and you like boys. If you're a boy and like girls, you know, whatever you are. I think, um, and and it's a, it's a shame if it affects your career. you're passionate about the environment and nature. Um, for those who are watching this, why should we care about what's happening in this world and the environment? Hmm, that's such a good question. Um, because it's all we really have. I mean, I think it's strange we're in a culture um, which spends so much time in front of a screen, you know? And we um, we watch televisions, and we're on our computers, and we're on our cell phones, and you know um, we get disconnected from nature. But like, if you go into a forest, if you stand by the sea, if you um, go out into the hills, there's something it does to you. You know, it's it's impossible not to be affected by that. And like. Yeah, I mean, the planet will still be here, but if you cut down a 300-year-old tree to put up a shopping mall, that it's going to take 300 years. Or the, but there's a shopping mall there, so where does that go? You know, I think, you know, it's very selfish to just think about us now, and we do, we all do, right? You know, it's easy to to go, oh, well, we're going to die, and. But I mean, this is where we live. This is the only home. We don't get another planet. We don't get another Earth, and it's such a beautiful place. Hi, I'm Allison Sudal of Fine Frenzy, and you are on Global Grind.